today in this video is i want to share how to drive stepper motor with esp32 so to drive a stepper motor we must have a stepper motor driver and we are going to use uln 2003n which is a stepper motor driver and the input voltage to the working voltage is a 5 between 12 volt and here's this side is negative and this side is positive so this is I'm going to use 5 volt stepper motor so directly we connect to right here we just slot here and here we're going to apply the power I'm using 5 volt so I need to have a 5 volt power supply so this is the cable for the DC jack and this is for positive 5 volt and these two is post, uh, negative 5 volt so positive 5 volt we connect to positive here and negative we connect to the negative so from the power to the driver connection is complete and here we are going to use ESP32 and we will use breadboard so we place right here and we just use for this side and we use starting from digital pin number 13 12 and D14 and D27 so we use all this side of digital pin number 13 12 14 and 27 so pin 13 we connect to input 1 input 1 and d12 we connect to in 2 and d14 we connect to in 3 and d27 we connect to in 4 so where connection is complete and here this ground we must have connect to the ground of ESP32 so the power we give separately from outside power supply which is 5 volt and the ground we have to share to ESP32 so the data cable USB cable I'm going to connect here and connect to computer to upload the code and we we're gonna use the code which is very simple to make it rotation for the stepper motor let us turn on the power supply this 5 volt let me turn on yes i already turned on the power supply but here the stepper motor does not move because we haven't uploaded the code so first we need to upload the code first so here's the code very simple we have to make sure that we connect the correct pin this is pin number 13 we connect to input 1 12 input 2 14 input 3 27 input 4 we have to make sure that all the pins connected in the correct pin then we will select the bar of course this is ESP32 so go to your model and now it's the pop com so we just select com 7 and upload the code so when you upload the code we have to press the boot button on esp32 to complete upload the code All right, so now done upload the code. Let me press the EN button here. Then now our code is work and the stepper motor is moving. So if I turn it, these things put over here, let me turn off first. And I will turn on the power. Yes, 
So our stepper motor is keep moving. So this is very simple and very pretty easy to make it control. So the rotation is you can change from the inside code. Alright, so I hope this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my, my video.